Hey guys, it's Holbert from Mafia Group. In this tutorial, I would like to present you a new feature we've added in latest 28.1 version, Grid Layout. From now on, you can turn any layout into a grid layout with just a click. This feature helps web designers arrange content on a web page in rows and columns like a spreadsheet. It makes it easy to create clean, balanced layouts that look good on both big screens and mobile devices. Let's not waste the time on this introduction and jump to my screen. Let's start with a simple things. What you actually see on the screen is wrap with four half-size banner box elements. By default, wrap is set to be displayed in flexbox mode. And now, as soon as I switch to grid, you will see how default margins and paddings goes away and elements inside wrap sticks to the edges. Now, I can set things like number of columns, change column and row gap. What's more, you can define different values per devices. So, for example, on desktop, you can have two columns, while on mobile, just one. As you probably noticed, after switching display option to grid, plus and minus for resizing elements inside the wrap disappears. It's because from now on, sizes are defined by grid options. Let's switch to another page, FHQ. Let's edit wrap where I have all these icon box elements inside. As you can see, each icon box is full width and I can change width of each element easily within plus and minus buttons. But what if I won't lose time for all these clicks? Let's switch to grid for display and just like that, I made own grid of three icon boxes per row in no time. Also, as before, I can easily adjust gap per specific device if needed. Let's now switch to the home page where I would like to show you something different. Custom sizing for grid layout. What you actually see on the screen is inner wrap on the left side with heading and column text and two banner boxes on the right side. I achieve this grid layout easily by typing 40% 1FR and 1FR. It means that first element in this case, in a wrap, is 40%, but 1FR is for one part of the available space. Let's change second value to 2FR so you can see the difference. Pretty simple, right? Let's get back to 1FR as I would like to show you one more option here. You're probably wondering how in a wrap on the left is aligned vertically in relation to the banner boxes on the right. It's because under advanced positioning section, I set elements vertical align option to center. Of course, from this place, I can easily align to top, bottom, or even stretch columns. Let's now scroll a bit to the bottom where I have wrap with the other usage of custom grid layout. What you see there are four icon boxes and inner wrap with heading and column text on the right. For this wrap, I used repeat. As you can see, for the custom template columns field, I put the following. Repeat for 1FR and 33%. This is like saying I want to create four boxes and I want each of them to take up an equal amount of space. The 1FR part means each box will get one fraction of the available space, so they all take up the same amount. However, the last inner wrap takes 33%, what means one of the boxes should take up 33% of the available width, which is roughly one third of the total space. Let me show you another usage of this feature. A bit different, but I would like to show you that such things are possible as well. Let's scroll a bit up. For this wrap, I used a couple of inner wraps. Two of them are empty, so it makes a kinda interesting layout. Here I used also repeat four, one a third, just like in previous example, so each of them take up an equal amount of space. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked this video and I shed some light on the Builder feature that may improve your workflow. If you like this video, I encourage you to watch another video where I explain one of the most powerful Biffin features, templates. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time you release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.